Example 6.1, determine the function Vc for t greater than zero and plot it where the initial voltage is minus four volts. From lecture, the voltage buildup on the capacitor is given by this guy. So it's Vc of t. It's the initial voltage on the capacitor. So in this case here, we know that this guy is the initial voltage. So as the current from the current source flows, it's going to deposit charge onto the capacitor and then this buildup is then dependent upon the current in the circuit here. So then this piece right here, this is the voltage accumulated between T naught and T. So that being said here, we can now go look at our circuit here. We see that this is a series circuit, right? So this is a series circuit, which then tells us here is that the source current is also the current through the, through the capacitor. And we can see here is that the source current is given by this curve. So we must parameterize I S of T curve. Okay, so let's go do that. And one of the things that we see here is that here's my, my curve here, and we can see that there are three regions. The first region has to occur where? You could see that I have a linear line here. And it goes right here. So you can see here is that I have some slope here. And of course, I have a zero intercept right there. So if I look at my first region, this is between zero T and 0 0.25 seconds. That means I have a linear line. And that linear line should have it where it's MT plus B, if I look at the slope of this guy, you can see that it has a rise of two minus zero. And then the run is 0 0.25 minus zero times T. And as we already said here, that intercept is zero. So then this gives me a curve that's AT. Now my second interval, is going to be between 0 0.25 and half a second. Well, that's clearly a constant current. Which then tells me that that guy has to be 2A. And then anything after half a second, well, that's just 0 amps. So if I look at this curve here, we could see here is that the uh, capacitive current is the same as the source is then going to be given by the relationship IC of T. I'm going to have eight. I'm going to have eight T. I'm going to have two amps. And I'm going to have zero amps. Of course, this guy has units of uh, 
amps here for AT, and then this will be what? Between 0 0.25 seconds, 2.5 to half a second, and then this is for anything over that. So now let's apply the voltage build up to this uh, current source or current of the capacitor. So if I do that, I'm going to start working this guy out now. So my first interval is this quarter second. Now, if I write out the voltage buildup equation, Here's what we see. We see that VC, now I'm gonna write this as a function of time, but we know that we're in between zero and 0.25 seconds. So then I have the initial voltage. The initial voltage is four. The capacitance is 0.1. And then I'm integrating from zero to T. And then I have to integrate for that interval right there. So if I compute this number, this is what I get. I'm going to get minus 4 plus, so this is 10 times 8, so it's going to be 80. But then when I integrate t, I get a 2, so then this is t squared. And of course, this is between 0 and t. So if I look at this curve, it then reads that this is minus 4 plus 40 t squared. So if I now write the details a little bit better, we then see here is that VC between zero and a quarter of a second is then going to be 40 T squared four. So now I know what my voltage looks like for this interval. Now, I need to check this mathematically and physically. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna check this mathematically. And physically. So I'm gonna pick three values. So the first value is t equal to zero. I better get minus four back. So here, this tells me if I take this function at t equal to zero, then I'm gonna get zero minus four, so it's gonna get minus four volts, right? So this is the initial voltage on cat. So that's a good sign. Now, if I start to increase this guy, so note that a quarter's is a uh, is one fourth, but let's say that I go to something smaller, like an eighth of a second. Now I would expect as positive current flows onto the capacitor, I should get a more positive voltage. So let's go see. So at t equal to one eighth, I'm gonna get what? So I'm gonna get forty times. 1 eighth squared minus 4, and then I'm going to get minus 3.38 volts. Okay, good. So that's a good sign here because what this is really telling me here is that positive current flow increases. Oops, that's not the way you write it. It increases the voltage, right? It goes from minus four to minus 3.38 volts. Yeah, it's gonna be making it more positive. And then at the quarter mark, the final voltage of this interval is then going to be what? So I'm going to get 
40 times one quarter squared minus four. So then this is going to be minus 1.5 volts. So that means that this is going to be the max voltage at, at t equal to 0 0.25 seconds. So physically, it's, it makes sense here. Okay, so now let's go to the next interval, which is 0 0.25. 0 0.50 seconds. So now we have a constant source. You can see this is two amps. So here we are. So let me scroll all the way up here. And so, so here, what we would note here is that at T equal to 0 0.25 seconds, the capacitor has a voltage of VC of T equal to 0 0.25 seconds of minus 1.5 volts. So that's my initial value. So now if I'm looking at VC of T, I should be a little bit more careful just because of the way we're looking at intervals. It should be 0 0.25 T half a second. I start off with an initial voltage of 1.5 volts. Now, I'm as I write in my voltage equation, I'm now integrating from 0 0.25 seconds and I'm going to T but now I have a constant current. So when I look at this thing, I'm going to get minus 1.5 plus 20T. And of course, this is going to be between 0 0.25 seconds and T. And when I compute that, I get a value of 20T minus 6.5. In other words, VC between 0 0.25 and half a second is then going to be 20T minus 6.5 volts. So as before, we want to check this thing. I want to check this mathematically. And physically. Two checks this time. So I'm going to go from T equal to 0 0.25 seconds. This better give me my initial voltage. So if I look at this guy, this then says that VC at t equal to 0 0.25 seconds, I'm then going to get what? 20 times 1 fourth minus 6.5, and that gives me minus 1.5 volts. Again, this is the initial voltage at T equal to 0 0.25 seconds. So we expect that. What about at half a second? At half a second, I'm seeing here that this should be 20 times 1 half minus 6.5. And I now have a positive voltage. So this tells me that the capped voltage here is now positive. Okay, so then we have our last interval, which will be between T greater than half a second here. But what we're what we already saw here is that this guy 
has no current, right? So there is no current source. in the circuit. It just turns off. So that implies that I better have no change in the caps voltage. No more charges flowing on. So if I look at this thing mathematically here, I start off with an initial voltage uh, at the end of the previous interval at 3.5, and then I'm gonna get 0 0.1, and then I'm gonna go from 0 0.5 to T, but there's no current. So this means here is that this guy stays at 3.5 volts as expected. So in summary, Here's what we can write. We have a voltage that looks like this for the first interval. So you could see that it increases, the voltage increases as T squared. And then we have this voltage and this guy's a constant between 0.25 a constant source that is. And then it doesn't change anymore for T greater than 0 0.50 seconds. So this is VC of T. So this is what our goal was, was to compute this. Now, if I go and I plot this guy, I'm gonna go, let's see. Let's see that I come from here. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. Let's see if I can do a nice curve here. It says that we started off at negative four volts. So let's say here is that this is my spot right here where this is negative four volts. And so what ends up happening when we get to, let's say a quarter of a second here, let's say that this time right here, this is 0 0.25 seconds, and then over here, I'm going to call that 0 0.50 seconds. So what do I see here? After 0.25, we saw that the voltage was negative 5 volts, negative 1.5 volts. So if I just sort of like make a guess of where this is here, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna call this right here, negative 1.5 volts. So that means here, my curve looks like this. I have a linear, a quadratic curve that looks right here. And then what happens here is that, you know, I don't really like this curve. Let me try it like this because that's a little bit too steep. And then what we're going to see here, it has to be continuous here. This guy's going to cross this axis here. And let's say it does this. And if we look at the time where the voltage is zero, so... So this is at 0.25 seconds. And then this point right here, I can now set VC 
equal to zero for the second interval, which would be zero t minus six point five. This tells me then, if I compute that number, that that has to be um, 0.65 divided by 20, and you get 0 0.32 seconds. So this is 0 0.32 seconds, and that's when the voltage goes to zero here. Now, if I look at my green curve, note that the intercept is minus 6.5. So if I was to kind of follow this back, it's not pretty but this would be minus 6.5 volts. There's the intercept. And, oh man, that curve is not right because that curve has to be here. Let me go down here like this. Yeah, that's better. Because then at half a second, this guy has to be what? It has to be minus three, no positive 3.5 volts and then after that it doesn't change anymore so that was not a good curve initially so my curve looks like this <laughs>